Are you tired of failing for a weight loss myth that never seems to be giving you a lasting results? Then you must watch this video till the end. Hi, my name is Arvind Padmaraju. I'm a fitness and lifestyle coach and I'm a founder of Half Fit and also Super Fit Family Hub, which is focused for a busy parents, how they can lose their weight effortlessly and how they can build the habits which will give them a lasting health for the rest of their life. So let's begin. So some of the myths I want to de debunk today, which are actually things that you think that, you know, those are the things which you are trying to lose weight. Okay. The first myth, number one, you have to follow a strict diet and deprive yourself to lose weight. This is the most common thing most of us do when you want to lose weight. You go with a restrictive, very strict diet mode and uh, there is no flexibility in it. What that does is when you are already eating in certain pattern and you're going with a very restrictive mode, it's a huge change for your body and you're not even listening. Your body is craving for some kind of a food and if you're not satisfying them over a period of a time, it creates a, some kind of a hormonal changes in your body and it becomes very, very difficult for you to follow the diet for a longer period of a time. What happens over a period of a two weeks, three weeks, then you go and binge eat uh, all your favorite foods and then you feel you will go into the guilt cycle and then you left the diet for once for all and you be in that new reality. So in the instead, what you need to do is just keep these things in mind whenever you create a diet to lose weight during your journey. The first, first and foremost, what you need to focus on, make sure that the foods what you have been created in your diet are mostly common what you've been eating from last 20 to 30 years. So diet, can, you don't need to be make it complicated. There are a hell lot of diets in the market, keto diet, paleo diet, intermittent fasting, different, different strategies. But what is most important is just see what suits for you. As long as you are in a calorie deficient, that means you, you start eating lesser than your body required calories, you continue to lose weight. But you need to do it in a right approach and you need to have a balanced meal. And literally, you can create with your existing food habits your diet based on whatever you're eating for so long. So what I want you to do is first see what you're currently eating and see what exactly is not 100% um, accurate. And most of the Indian diets, the protein is one other thing which is missing and uh, fruits and vegetables are missing on a day-to-day -day diet. So make sure that you include them. And also the second strategy, instead of going with a full restrictive mode, you can have a more flexibility. I use a method called the 80-20 rule. In 80-20 rule, what we do, 80% of the diet we give from the nutritionist food and 20% of the food you can include all your favorite food. That could be chocolates, that could be uh, all your favorite foods, whatever you want to include. That gives a lot of flexibility and you don't need to go through this. So it is a myth that you know you need to follow a strict diet to lose weight. It can be as enjoyable as possible. And throughout my journey, I have been eating the foods which I've been eating from last 20 to 30 years. But all my previous failures, I have been in the restrictive mode. Restrictive mode will make you more miserable uh, because of the failure, what happens because you can't control it. Okay, so never follow a strict diet. Follow a flexible, sustainable diet which you can sustain for the rest of your life. The myth number two, the cardio, cardio is the best and you do it for a long hours to lose weight. It's the only way to lose weight. This was the biggest myth. We think that activity can be anything. Yes, you can do any activity. But when, especially in your weight loss journey, cardio, what it does is a cardio is an energy intensive activity. That means when you do a long hours of a cardio, your body has to produce the energy to your activity. So what happens over a period of a time, your, the, the energy what can uh, your body can give is most of the energy that comes from the muscle mass. Your muscle mass holds also the glycogen cells. So what happens is when you do a long hours of a cardio, there is a high chance of you may lose weight, but you're losing a weight in a wrong way. That means you're losing a muscle mass. So your muscle mass is one of the biggest contributor after your um, basic, basic metabolic rate uh, is your muscle mass, uh, which uh, in your overall energy requirement. That means when you have more muscle mass by default, in uh, um, your body burns more calories okay that is what is a requirement so any weight loss journey you do 
one of the most uh, fundamental thing you need to keep in mind is you preserve as much of muscle mass as possible you doing a long hours of a cardio and not properly uh, putting your nutrition around the cardio and not doing a strength training will do more damage to you rather than losing a weight you can okay so what is most important in that whole journey is you need to focus on having a cardio on a limited manner that means make sure that you do a strength training and do a, some kind of high intensity workout if it is suitable for you if you have a time constraint and all of them do it in a low intensity workout so what i prefer in my own community for my own uh, clients is we do something like a smart workouts if really your time is a constraint so 3 to 4 days of a resistant training must should have in your own routine and then the remaining days you can include a steps you can do a low intensity activities which will give you a better result than just doing a cardio and also if you wanted to do any kind of a home workouts i have recorded a set of all the smart workouts smart workouts are 15 minutes full body workouts which can be done in the low in uh, uh, low interval period okay so you can practice them so never only depend on cardio cardio could be a tool along with the resistant training okay or you don't really need a cardio as long as you have more activity already part of your lifestyle like you are already doing a 10k steps that's more than enough until and unless you are doing aggressive fat loss then you may need to include the cardio along with the resistant training the myth number 3 is you need to cut down your entire food sources or food groups or your favorite foods to be successful this is the biggest myth and it makes you more miserable in your journey than doing Uh, getting the uh, the transformation you can transform by just eating less than what your body is required calories but just think about what is the purpose of you losing your weight is it a lifelong journey or is it uh, just a short term uh, uh, journey you decide if your journey is a short term do all crazy aggressive modes you reach the goal and go back to old habits and this cycle will repeat but if your goal is to have a long term approach and you going to do it for a lifetime focus on building as a sustainable routine and also fulfill in this life all kind of your social events satisfying all your favorite foods as i explained you in the myth number 1 always follow the 80 20 rule it works like a magic even you can go to 70 30 rule that means 70% of calories give from all your existing foods which are already eating uh, which co- comes from the balanced diet and the rest 20% or 30% you can use all your favorite foods yes have always a balance it's not that um, Uh, one day of that social event or your birthday party one day of the marriage you are attending or one day of a deviation will get back to you where you are the problem is what are you doing after coming back what is the maximum time you are doing that is what makes a biggest difference okay so don't be in extreme on your food choices always have a flexibility and also focus on the moderation so make sure that you also treat yourself and make sure this 80 20 rule is part of every single day though so that you don't need to even think about a cheat meal or all of them first of all i don't believe in a cheat meal cheat meal itself is a negative term so your your meal should satisfy every single um, requirement of your body that is what is most important with the 80 20 rule you can get away from this the next important myth is losing a weight is a battle of will power Yes. So most of the th- people thinks that you need to have a strong will power. I can only tell you one thing. You can have a how much ever will power you have, but if your environment is not prepared to be the goal which you want to achieve, your will power doesn't work. For example, you have all your favorite foods in front of your house and in front of your table every single meal and you cannot your will power doesn't work because your body emotions takes a precedence of will power. because your existing experience of the taste and the feelings will take a precedence over the will power right will power can work for some period of a time so for initially when you are starting your uh, fitness journey make sure that any foods which you crave for keep them as a distance all the processed and ultra processed foods make sure that you don't store at home because they are those are the foods which are making you Uh, one of the biggest reason you are overboarding with your calories so first thing is set environment that is on the food side and also set environment around your house see what are the things you have and who are the people you are associating with best thing is associate with a community where they have a similar kind of a goals similar kind of a fitness regime which they are following what it happens is their energy and your energy will take you to 
the, uh, to achieve the goal it is it is a saying right if you are with a five people who are drinking you become the one more uh, that person the same way with the fitness journey is so don't don't challenge your willpower rather set an environment where that environment promotes you not only not only with your uh, diet and the people your water intake always carry a water bottle because the more you see the more you remind yourself and do it and set a set a uh, alarm on your um, mobile that you have to walk every one hour and make a proper uh, sleep environment so that you sleep well see every single aspect you need to create that environment when you have all the environment ready you don't need to focus on willpower all these things okay so focus on having the home your place your food table um and your water every single thing is that environment is set for you so that it is easy for you to follow and the last but not the the least is most of the us we think that weight loss is a complicated time consuming task i will say it's not so what is most important is see whenever you are starting with the fitness journey think that it's about a long term journey it is not about a short term you don't need to do a one hour of a, a workout every single day if you could do even a 5 minutes every single day and make that as a habit and do it for a longer period of time we'll get the result what you take a tiny tiny small small steps over a period of a time accumulated and you get that maximum results so what i wanted to tell you is even a 10 to 15 minutes even a 5 minutes workout consistently you do see your weight loss does not happen only because of the workout the calories what you are burning throughout a day is more than what you are consuming automatically you you start losing the body fat but that contributes into multiple things some of the direct relation of them is following a diet and the activity what you do but some of the things which are indirectly impacts is your sleep quality water intake your stress management and your mindset these have a indirect correlation with how your diet and exercise you follow it so that is the reason what you need to focus on is simplifying it make sure that you being active throughout a day at least do that 15 minutes of a workout awareness plays a major role in every single thing see be aware how your actually body is burning a calories okay so don't go into the trap of okay when i'll have a one hour time only i'll start the journey that will you will never start in your life and also i'm telling you if we are prioritizing um uh anything over health that means you going to have a lot of suffering in later point of a time okay so what you need is a tiny tiny small small habits and also i think in my community we we use something like a tiny habits those are less than 1 minute habit you do it in a multiple intervals throughout a day and that creating amazing results for most of the clients so create a small small habits like sipping a water every single hour over a period of 8 hours you can easily drink 2 to 3 liters of water and going for a walk every 1 hour every meal after 10 minutes and splitting that you are walking into six different intervals of 5 minutes is equal to 30 minutes of your walking and the same time 15 minutes of a workout every single day you commit to yourself which you can easily do it and the same way your sleep and every single activity what you are doing you can small small tiny tiny and start over a period of a time and um, Uh, keep improvising it and keep getting it better yes so hope this these myths are the biggest reasons if you are thinking that you know you are pro- you are not progressing then follow the tips what i have given and these are literally a myths you can still do it your weight loss journey with much much effortless and sustainable more happier and more easier if you know the right way and if you are really really looking forward to learn the method how you can effortlessly lose weight and maintain that weight and live that healthy and fit uh, fit lifestyle for rest of your life and i'm going to drop my mastermind link where you can click on the mastermind link and join my 3 days mastermind or if you want to directly get in touch with me you can type super fit fam as a in the comment section and i will get back to you with all the details and also i want you to put on the comment what is your biggest learning from this video and what is the one thing you going to implement from today after this video okay so hope you're not going to repeat these mistakes and go behind the myths what i shared and you create the sustainable routine which not only transform you which will also transform your next generations to come 
yes thank you so much for watching this so diligently and uh, if you're really new to this channel i want you to click on the subscribe button click on that bell icon so that you get notified when i post uh, my new video every when i post my new video yeah looking forward to see you as a inspiration to kick start your own super fit journey and not only that and you giving that super fit formula to the rest of your family members and making your family as a super fit family yeah looking forward to see you bye bye take care i will see you again in the next video bye bye love you